What's going on YouTube? So today I'm gonna to be showing you my custom recording and editing YouTube setup. I do wanna say that custom doesn't always mean more expensive, more just it's custom to how I wanna be comfortable when I record and edit. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you today is actually how I get this infinite white background look. I will be showing you the lights, how they're positioned, and where if I'm gonna record something face to face, this is how I do it, and this is my area. After that, I'll be showing you my personal editing computer area setup. If I record something with a monitor, that's where I do it. Before we get into this video, don't forget, if you like my content and you enjoy coming to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and turn notifications on, because that is actually the most beneficial way to support this channel and its growth. So now it's quickly some time to get into this bitch. Yes, yes, ooh, oh, oh. You're in my hands now, YouTube. I could just accidentally drop you. No, I'm just fucking kidding. This camera costs too much. Okay, so like I said, the first area I'm gonna show you is my light section. If I'm going to record something face-to-face -face or I'm going to make any kind of professional message uh, where I kind of decently care about how it looks, uh, I'm gonna do it here. And so we have permanent lights set up and I film there a lot, basically. So guys, this is it. This is basically where I film 90% of my content and it's just in my bedroom. There's my bed, this is, this is where I sleep right here. Right here, and that, that that's, that's where I record. Sleep, record. As you can tell, this is actually a very do-it-yourself-esque area. Um, we have just clamp-on lights that you get from uh, any hardware store just about. And then this is a shower curtain that we've cut up and, and put over some of the lights to make them look a little softer. Uh, we have a, another light, a light bar from Walmart. Uh, pretty cheap actually. And then my roommate Aaron, who is Whitland's Woodworks, actually made this lamp. He made the little, little stamp area, put the bar in. Pretty sure this dude wired the electrics himself, not questioning it, might be dangerous. But uh, again, we have another one of those shower curtains with, to make the light softer. And then right here, we have the ring light. This is actually a very, very useful pickup if you're making your own channel or if you just want to get that halo look in your eyes. We got ours from Best Buy, uh, and it came in like a whole starter kit pack, but it's really good, like, it's really good. Basically, the only thing special about this area is we have our, our main light hitting my face and, and possibly creating the halo look. We have a light to kind of hit from this way, a light to hit from that way, and a light from it and down. Now, I will say that I am in no way uh, a professional in this area when it comes to little setups uh, with lights. I'm, I really, I had to look up mostly how to get the best look with what I had. And so uh, this is not a tutorial on how to make the perfect background area. This is just how I have my background area built. Next, we're actually gonna be getting into the editing area, which is my favorite because I get to sit down. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so this is where all the magic happens. This entire just about setup was made by Whitland's Woodworks. It is a combination of an L desk. Well, not really. It started out as just, that's a regular desk. Afterwards, he built this entire piece that comes out, makes it an L desk. And then that is a shelf over there, which yes, I know you're in the shot too. What's up? But yes, that is a shelf over there, uh, which kind of makes it a U desk. I kind of use it like that, but it's not really. Let's get into the specifics of the area. Oh my God, I know, you're so pretty and you're so just, just, what's up? Okay, so this is actually an area that has space under it. I keep my trash can there and uh, that is a chest set. I don't know why that's there. I also keep my keys right here on the table. We have a good desk area here to do just about whatever I need. Uh, I have a cup holder, which holds my drinks, uh, a cat. This and this both contain my pins and whatnot, so whatever else I need on that aspect. Then we have the keyboard and mouse, 
and I don't know if you can, yeah, it's kind of focusing in. This is my dual monitor, both Asus monitor setup. Uh, I'm actually editing the first half of this video right now. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, I am. We got my clock right here, so I can always see what time it is. My speaker, in case I want to pump some jams, even though these are both speakers that pump better jams sitting in the back. Uh, this is my seat. This is my cat. And normally, she's actually down here. This is a little footrest I have uh, for my area, but my cat sleeps on it. What are you doing? Aside from that, this is my chair. Let me have my chair. This is my chair. Uh, I sit here, pretty comfortable. I like it. It squeaks a lot though. And this cat uh, thinks it's hers. So let me just, uh, let me just. Okay, this is my computer down here. This is my little connector to the wireless source of internet thing. And then bam, here we are. Got my headset stand, and also built by Woodlands Woodworks. And I have a little area for my figurines, which I haven't completely finished setting up yet. What do you, quit, quit bonding with the camera. Haven't set up all of them yet, haven't gotten them all. This one actually was a gift from a friend from Japan. It was from, uh, man, I don't remember where, but this is actually from Japan. I got just cool stuff, uh, some mushrooms that I made, a necklace, a key, this is actually a key blade made by Woodlands Woodworks. Man, I mean, I basically, I might as well be an ad company, right? I'm plugging. But all this cool stuff, I got some pop figures up here, uh, all the way up to the top, triple shelf. I got some posters, a sword, and that's basically my jackets. And then if anybody wants to watch from behind me while I do some cool stuff, there's a seat and a stool for them. And yeah, this is basically my setup. As you can see, uh, no, it's cordless. Well, you can't really see it that well, but all of the cords are somehow fastened to the top of the desk. Not very professionally. Uh, I got my tool bag right here, just in case I need anything, you know, during a video, if I need like a eraser or a chisel or something, I don't know. Might fucking need it, who knows. And then I got one of my power outlets there, one of my power outlets there, and then another one way back in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's because I had a light up there at some point and it wouldn't reach without it. So yeah. That guys basically concludes my little setup tour. Uh, I know it wasn't as super in depth or in detail, but I kind of wanted to keep this video shorter. I am going to be trying to record and put out another video. I'll put the video out, I think, the next day. Whatever day you're seeing this, it'll be the next day. But I do have some more recording and stuff to do. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I, I really enjoy making videos like this for you guys. I mean, you're going to hear nothing but purring into the camera. Come on, dude. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed my little setup tour. It was a shorter-ended video, but I have a lot more... Uh, filming to do today and yeah I gotta get to it you know gotta stay on that grind plus my cat's kind of getting a little needy so I gotta do something with her give her some love or something yeah thank you guys for watching check you out next time I can't do it I can't uh, hold up there we go Blech.